Hey guys, it's Kate. Of course, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a wig I was sent over from LA Styles. Just in case any of you guys are interested, I'm going to go ahead and leave the details and the links to this wig in my description box. I got a synthetic one for y'all. So this wig that I'm about to show you guys is from Outre and it is in a style Safina. And I have Safina in a color chocolate. So I did take this out and take a peek at her and I put it in a packaging wrong but this is what she looks like so you can barely even see the stock card but I'll show you properly once I take the wig out but this is the color I don't know if y'all can see that literally it says chocolate like she looks like she's gonna lay right the color is really pretty it's definitely a true chocolate color so this is what she looks like now she is a Yankee texture and she's pretty long it says 28 inches so we'll see but yeah, she is definitely long from what I can tell. And I'm going to show you the construction. So, like I said, she is a Yankee texture. The shine on here isn't really shiny. It's given like a natural shine. Like I said, this is a middle part. I believe the hairline looks a little pre-plucked. And they do give you a little bit of baby hairs. Here is the part. So, on the inside, you have the two cones. On the side, you have a comb in the back and you also have the adjustable strips. And here is the stock card. Again, the style is Safina. And this is what Safina is looking like. Now, the color that the model is wearing, she's wearing two colors. One is... 3D RFF Vanilla Cappuccino and I believe it's this one right here and then the other color is like an orange ginger type of vibe yeah because it says DRFF Ginger Cocoa Brim I definitely feel like the cap size is a standard cap size so if you have a small head like myself then just go ahead and adjust the strips and you might have to take them the least. She looks like now I have not received any shedding and I have received tangling along the bottom part when I'm brushing it out the density on this wig is a really nice like it's perfect it's not too thick not too thin y'all and then the curls lay so nice like this side you gotta work with this side a little bit but this side lays really good so this is what I did basically nothing I use, I think I recorded this, but I use, oh, I use my high comb to flatten the top. The wig was already laying a little flat. I did get it a little bit flatter, but honestly, it already lays flat. So I don't think that you're going to have to worry about the wig being wiggy or anything like that. But if you did want to put some heat on it, you can. 